yo, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we finished our way through Lissandre Labs, and today we are going to make our way to Jisenji Town, because if you guys remember, the ultimate weapon was finally unleashed, and it seems to have landed in Jisenji. Sucks for all the people living there. I mean, they probably just got squished by that huge crystal-looking thing. I know I personally wouldn't want to be a part of that. If I start seeing a crystal here in my city... I'm out. You know, I'm moving. I'm going back to El Salvador. We're here in Jisenji Town, and let's see if we can figure out where we need to go. Wow! I would totally start chipping off some of that diamond and sell it for money, because that would be pretty good. Uh, there's a guy ahead, and I'm guessing we're probably gonna have ourselves a battle. I think we have a lot coming up, so let's go ahead and knock these out. So I know that today we're actually going to have a pretty tough time going through the Team Flare dungeon looking place, but I'm excited. Rodri, I'm coming with you. When I was in Lissandre's lab, the masked heroes told me what is going on. They also told me what Team Flare plans to do with the ultimate weapon. Come on, let's stop Team Flare. No, we have to stop Lissandre himself. The world isn't corrupt enough to give up on yet. Okay, let's head on down then into what is this place? Team Flare Secret Headquarters. Wow. Where's our friend at? Oh, she just ditched us. Okay. Well, you take the next elevator. I guess there's only room for one ego in this one, if you know what I'm saying. I mean hers. Because we're very humble trainers who raise our Pokemon right, who have a good time with them. And <gasps> holy crap, there's a lot of Team Flare grunts around here. The ultimate weapon's flower has finally bloomed above the soil. Don't you find its beauty captivating? As we speak, it draws its energy from the legendary Pokemon. Rodri, I apologize that the weapon was unearthed even after you chose correctly in the lab. But conflicting egos drive this world. Things don't always go the way you want. We're not gonna let you use the ultimate weapon! Even though resources, space, and energy on this planet are limited, the number of people and Pokemon has increased to an unsustainable level. Whether it's money or energy, the ones who steal are the ones who win in this world. But that doesn't give you the right to destroy everyone but the one Team Flare chooses. So tell me, the Mega Ring, did you share it? That's different, we competed for it, but... When there is only one of something, it can't be shared. When something can't be shared, it will be fought over. And when something is fought over, some must survive without it. The only way to create a world where people live in beauty, a world without conflict or theft, is to reduce the number of living things. What about Pokemon? Tears, why? Pokemon shall no longer exist. Pokemon are wonderful beings. Humans have worked with Pokemon and we have helped each other flourish. But precisely because of that, they will inevitably become tools for war and theft. Enough of this. You want to stop the ultimate weapon and I refuse to do so. So I'll keep you busy for just a moment. Alright guys, here we go. Roger versus Team Flare Lissandre and his four Pokemon. We are being challenged by Team Flare's boss who seems to want to pretty much destroy the world that's always fun you know that's what I like to do on my days off I like to you know prepare a super evil plan to destroy the world what happened to the days of Team Rocket I miss those guys you know all Team Rocket wanted was a little bit of money in their pocket maybe to beat up a couple ten-year-old kids and steal a couple Pikachus but you know they never wanted to destroy the world I mean if you really think about it Giovanni was doing something right you know, Lissandre's over here trying to kill everyone when Giovanni was just trying to make a couple quick dollars. I mean, I'll take Giovanni over Lissandre any day at this point. Gyarados is coming out. Oh man. Gyarados always gives me so much dang trouble. Um, hmm. I'll bring out Rio. Okay, yeah, I'll bring out Rio. I don't know why this Gyarados always gives me so much flippin' trouble. I feel like we just don't have a Pokemon um, that can be super effective against it, and that's why we have such a difficult time with it. I'm, I really should have probably prepared a Pokemon that was going to be effective on it, but who knows. Let's go for the Aura Sphere. Maybe we'll, maybe it'll do something. Um, no, barely did it. And now we're dead. All right, we're dead with the Earthquake. Woo, whoop did he do We are dead just like that. 
I need a Pokemon that's going to be super effective on water types. Because right now, all I have is Zula. And it kind of sucks, um, to be honest with you. We don't really have much else to do but go for the Skull Bash. Let's go for the Skull Bash. You know, why not? Um, I'm kind of just trying to defeat Lissandre. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Today is Wednesday. You know, for me, class has got out. Pretty much finished everything I've had to at this point. And I'm about to head, um, you know, to Thanksgiving. You know, I'm actually going away. It's going to be a blast. And kind of looking forward to it. I think it's going to be quite a good time. I'm actually invited to a friend's house. This friend might be a girl. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think it's going to be a good time getting to spend time with her family. Uh, you know, it's always fun getting... I've actually had the chance to spend it with a lot of my friends' families. Like, uh, back in high school, I had a couple, you know, friends who would, like, let me come over. Because, you know, my family didn't really do much for it. And it was always really nice getting to go and see the different ways people, you know, went about Thanksgiving. And I feel like I've experienced so many different cultures and so many different types of dinners that every time that I get to go um, and I'm lucky enough to be invited to, you know, do something different, I just feel very thankful. And, and I'm like, you know, what are you thankful for? Thankful for being able to come and share, you know, with your family and really, you know, get to get to see what it's like um, from your side, you know, to, to do these sorts of things. Um, and I guess that's just something about me that maybe you guys would like to know. I'm going to go for the bite. I think we might be faster than the Gyarados. And uh, with that, we took down the Gyarados. And we have what? One of Lissandre's Pokemon left. Um, and if I'm correct, it's going to be Pyroar. So you're done, son. Uh, you're done. Completely done. Bring it out. We're, we're gaining levels left and right. Oh, Psychic. Yes. Finally, guys. We've learned Psychic. You know, it took a while to learn that move. Um, but we have at last done it. We learned Psychic. Um, and with that, we are going to be taking on Pyroar. All right, let me go ahead and take this down. Do any of you guys know if um, Lissandre's character creation design was based on Pyroar? I feel like it would be. You know, it's like his last book. Mother fudge. If he crits me, I'm going to be PO'd. Thank goodness. Um, that should pretty much take it down, I'm hoping for. See you later, Pyroar. We took down Lissandre's last Pokemon. With that, we gained a ton of XP. We whatever mine. Crap. Haunch Crow's coming out. Man, I don't... What do I have to go up against a Haunch Crow? All right, whatever. Let's keep Zool out. We might be faster than it. You never know. I, I don't know. I'm going to go for the Rock Smash. I really should teach Power Up Punch um, to Zula. Imagine how much damage that would do compared to this. All right, we're dead. And with that, oh, mother fudge. Really, man? Uh, I'm going to send out... Uh, let's send out some arms. Smarms hasn't been out in a while. You know, Smarms has got to get his shot in here, here and there. What I got? What I got on you, my man? Ancient power. Okay, okay. That might do some good work here. We'll see how much damage that's going to do. That's what I like to see, you know? Super effective things. Always kind of my jam. Um, oh, crap. That was super effective, too. Well, let's hope we can take it down with the ancient power. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Do your thing, Smarms. It's down for the count. Lissandre's last Pokemon. Is now finally down. We gained some XP on Smarms, who hasn't really seen a lot of action because he's behind on levels. And we defeated Team Flare Lissandre. The strength to protect, huh? But what are you really protecting? A tomorrow that will only end up being worse than today? Pretty much, we received 10,200 for winning. You're as strong as ever, but it's too late. There's no hope for you now. Go down to the lowest floor and see for yourself. It's not over yet. Rodri, let's look for the legendary Pokemon. Trainers are protected by Pokemon, but they protect Pokemon on two, right? Look, you can see the entrance to the lower floors over there. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and heal up my team because Lissandre kind of ran up on me, punched me in the face, gave me a pretty good whooping. I'm kind of bruised a little bit. My back hurts. Uh, my team's injured. It's just, you know, it's not a good day. It's not a good day. I was just, I was just trying to relax. Me and my Pokemon, we were going to take a stroll down to, you know, the Kanto region. Go down to Cerulean City. You know, relax by the beach and just enjoy. But, uh, Lissandre over here is trying to blow it up. Trying to blow up the world. Imagine how many different regions this crazy, crazy bastard is trying to blow up right now. I couldn't even tell you. But, we need to make our way to the lower level. Let's hurry! And I guess this chick's gonna be coming with us. Exciting times, and we have ourselves a doubles battle.
All right, so we defeated Pitbull. Dale! New York! Whatever his song is. Let's keep on moving through here. Another one? Okay. It looks like there's going to be a ton of battles. Let's just go ahead and do them. Knock them out of the way. Uh, here we go. So type advantages, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I didn't even type advantage there whatsoever. Kind of nice. Let me go ahead and heal up again. I did buy a ton of potions, as you guys may be able to tell, because uh, I knew we were probably going to be in a lot of trouble. I know you guys told me that we had a lot of stuff coming up, so I made the decision to do it. Let me see if I can teach Power Up Punch to Zula now. Um, I know it'll definitely come in handy, and I'm really tired of having that stupid freaking rock type or the the crappy move on there, the rock smash, whatever the heck, that does absolutely nothing. So there we go. With that, we have learned Power Up Punch, and I know that's definitely going to be something that, uh, should help us quite a bit. Now, Grass not here. Oh, man, are you serious? Um, wow. Okay, that could help us a lot, um, against the Gyarados, but do I really want to forget a move? I'm going to go ahead and decide that right now. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I might not. Let's see which move should be forgotten. I think our moves are actually okay. Um, I haven't been using Lucky. I barely use Scratch. All right, let's forget Scratch. Just in case you never know, I might end up using Grass Knot. So, who would have thought the Fire type would learn a Grass type move? I don't know. Not me. But let's keep on moving, guys, and see what else awaits us. Rodri, Serena. I don't believe it. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I know I'm just going to slow you down. But... But friends should stick together. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all the way out here and I wasn't very considerate of your feelings. You're right. Friends should stick together. Roger, we should all go together, right? Of course. I knew you'd agree. Okay, Sean. Roger and I will go ahead. Stay close to us, okay? Okay, thank you. What was that for? Like, she, is she, do, are we going to have a triple battle coming up or something? Probably not. That's sad. Would have been a nice day. We have another doubles. Double KO was kind of beautiful. Do you guys see that? Kind of sick. Uh, that Blastoise, man, for real. Kind of a great Pokemon. Um, are we almost there? I don't know. <gasps> We've made it to a door. Okay, what could this be? It's an electronic lock. What should we do? It's my help. It's a device that helps you when you're stuck on a puzzle. Come on, gave it to me. An electronic lock and a puzzle are the same sort of thing, right? lock opened oh and the device actually broke amazing shauna you and clement's device are both full of surprises so we're finally here the legendary pokemon is inside let's go help it all right guys the legendary pokemon is inside and we are ready to go after it so next time if you guys have any tips on what's coming up let me know we have a lot of crazy stuff coming up i know it i have a feeling about it give me some tips help me out thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next episode goodbye